Today, I want to teach you that readers of historical fiction often layer in nonfiction texts that help to illuminate the era they're studying. They use every tool at their disposal to get to know the era, maps, timelines, primary source images, informational texts, even documentary clips. Let's investigate some nonfiction texts to help us understand the era we're studying together, the Vietnam War. We could do some research on the web, but I have a file of texts related to the Vietnam War that I was looking through last night, so I thought we could start there. Let's start by looking at this map of the Vietnam War from 1969 to 1975. It's interesting. I wonder what we could learn about the Vietnam War from studying this map. Let's try. Well, wow, this shows a lot of battles that took place between 1969 and 1975. And that means that our soldier might have been there a really long time. That's grim, since he has found that he no longer wants to kill. Let's push ourselves to see more. Hmm. I see that Vietnam was broken into North and South Vietnam. So that tells me that this was a civil war. I wonder how the U.S. got involved. And let's see, what side did the U.S. support? Let's look at the key. This map shows the locations of U.S. Army bases in some of the areas the United States bombed. When I look carefully at the map, I see that the major U.S. bases were all located in South Vietnam and that the U.S. teamed up with South Vietnam on some major offenses. To me, it's pretty clear that the U.S. supported South Vietnam. Remember, this was a small nation, so families and villages must have been divided. Let's think back to our story. It feels like this is explaining a bit more about what our soldier in patrol and our soldier in ambush were caught up in. It looks like they were there as part of some kind of civil war between North and South Vietnam. I would think that to outsiders, like those two American soldiers, it would be hard to tell who was from the North and who was from the South, who were the allies and who were the enemies. How confusing and how terrifying. Readers, it's not as if when you study a map, all things become clear to you. What really matters is that you become a reader who is also a researcher. You'll know so much more as you begin to read across different kinds of nonfiction texts. And as you do, you ask yourself, what new information is this particular text giving me? How does it fit with what I already learned? How does it explain more of what I was reading in my novel? Are you ready to try this? Go back to the lesson platform for your next activity.